Welcome to the Billionaire Series, where we do unrealistic crap to the normal person, but realistic crap to the average billionaire. So, what we're going to do is build a giant cabin slash mansion on the top of that mountain. I've always wanted to do this, and then this cabin mod came out. Check this out. Now, you're going to think it's like small and crappy, but it's actually pretty cool inside. It looks a lot smaller in this picture, but we're going to build this on top of that on top of the hill and then there's also this insane garage and then maybe i'll put another shop on of course to store our gosh dang lambos america but basically i'm gonna try to design this whole compound slash mansion up there as luxury as possible because everybody wants a cabin on the top of the highest peak possible if you're a billionaire right also you're probably thinking hey squad how are you gonna truck that stuff up there don't you need a semi semis for peasants you need a gosh dang truck with giant 36 inch tracks on it. Heck yeah, baby. Dud Ram Cummins. Turbo diesel. And then we also got a trailer with tracks on it to get our skid steer up there. Now basically what I'm going to do is cut down all the trees with the skid steer. And then the stumps will probably work around, kind of. Then put our house down. And then build and landscape everything around it. That's the goal. And then also, we got a Platinum Tremor 2020 with... A crazy customizable big text that I had a welder just weld this on so I can put cars up there, cars down there, and of course, gotta bring the Bugatti, the Lamborghini, and this Lamborghini, because somebody, Jimmy, forgot to put the top on, so, yeah, we gotta get in before it starts raining. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this, like, I, I, I just want to challenge myself and build, like, a luxury billionaire compound on top of a mountain, so if you end up enjoying it, well, if we get 10,000 likes on this video, what I'll do is how about... How about I build a mansion in the middle of the lake on UMRV because they're on the Mississippi River in UMRV because there's this giant river, which is not this. This is like a little little puddle compared to the river on UMRV. And I could build a giant mansion in the middle of the water, which would be pretty cool. I think that'll be the next billionaire, billionaire series video. Yeah, that'd be cool if we get 10,000 likes, which I know we will. But also, uh, just got to say, during the series, sometimes I'll act a little bratty, a little like rich kid type. That's just for the series. That's just for kind of like the role play of the series. So... Don't feel offended or anything like that. Honestly, being a billionaire is not about like what, having Lambos or Bugattis. It's just about having freedom, man. Helping other people out, you know? It's not really about this stuff. This stuff is just entertaining. So I got the Ram going. Now, what I got is I got the Follow Me mod. It's, it's a magical mod where one truck can follow the other truck. And it's going to be sketchy because we got a long ways to go. But that's what I'm going to do to get them up there. Now, I got to figure out how to operate this thing to get my Lambos and my Bugattis loaded up. I think what you got to do is you got to lower the front down first. Okay, so we got the Bugatti up there. Now next is the Lambo. Oh gosh. And then we got the other Lamborghini loaded up. Okay, now some of you guys are probably doing calculations in your head like, Squad was struggling with the loading those up. How the heck did he get those up there? I better not see a comment down there that says he lifted. It's kind of like when your Uncle Buck shows up to the wedding and he looks and you haven't seen him for a couple years and he looks a lot fatter than normal you just don't say anything okay it's called respect guys no i'm just joking we had to cheat to get those up there because i could not work this trailer at all it was rough so we got three luxury cars loaded up for this this is just honestly i need to get this more insane i feel like this isn't insane enough but i'm gonna pull around here and i think if i know how to use that follow me mod i can just back around to this I got to be careful on the bridge, though, because you guys know there's a sketchy bridge coming up, and it's going to get insane. But I want to get to building this actually, actual thing out. Well, change of plans. Couldn't get the follow me mod to work, so we're going to drive them separate. Oh, dude, we are absolutely so high up right now. Now, don't get me wrong. The Cummins, powerful engine. But with these ginormous tracks on here, we may be losing some power from just the tracks. So it may be a little struggle getting up this hill and getting the skid steer up this hill. Not to mention we're pulling the gosh dang skid steer behind us. The journey starts now. We got to make it. Here's where the grade starts. And it just gets steeper and steeper as we go up. So this is what we got to make it up. Sometimes it's fun. We play pretty realistic with Farm Sim usually. And, and hey, this is pretty realistic if you're a billionaire. But uh, sometimes it's just fun to just change it up and do different stuff like this. I like it. Just change the things, switch the things up. Oh gosh, she's getting steep, boys. Come on, old girl. Come on, Cummins. 
Those tow mirrors on this truck look so tiny on this truck. Look at them. I guess the truck, the body of the selfless truck just looks tiny. The skid steer looks tiny. Oh my gosh, look at that thing. Okay, so here's where it gets challenging. Let me show you guys what we got up ahead. If you guys have seen any of my videos, well, you've probably seen a video where we cross this bridge. And she is thin. Here we go. Full send or no send. Okay, make sure the tracks are lined up. Because if we miss, we die. Actually, oh shoot. That trailer? Look how wide that trailer is. This may be a little rough for the trailer. I bet you, okay, bet you what's going to happen. I'm calling it right now. Skid steer goes, trailer goes sliding off. Skid, skid steer goes down. We're, we're a goner. Come on. I gotta watch. Oh my gosh, it's going to happen. If I lose that skid steer, I'm going to be so angry. Come on. Come on. <laughs> the track as long as that left track can stay on there okay we're slowly pulling up there and we made it oh my gosh okay if we made it with this we can make it with the other trailer absolute monster look at this thick forest up here she is thick so we're gonna have to clear like tons of these trees and then i'm gonna try to make it like this this house this mansion I want to call it a mansion because it'd be an expensive house considering the land that's on it. But you'd have to, like, I want this hanging off like the edge of the mountain to where your backyard, you could pretty much jump off the edge of your house and fall like 12,000 feet. Not because I don't want to make it dangerous, but I want to make it cool. This is the spot. I got a lot of trees to clear if I'm going to do this right though. Shoot. Okay, I say we get clearing it, get making this, and then at the end for the finale, we can bring up the cars. That's what I'm thinking. Well, let's unload the skid steer. Oh my gosh. Come on, there we go. There we go, stop. There we go, keep it going down. Oh my gosh, is this gonna work? Okay, drive ahead a little bit. We're close. <laughs> it's working. Shoot, we may be stuck. We gotta pry ourselves up now. Okay, I got an idea. Slowly, shoot, I'm in kind of a pre predicament, whatever you want to call it. We are stuck. So we gotta push ahead the truck a little more. Okay, we'll just go a tad bit until she sets down a little bit. Good. Perfect. Now, I'm not really worried. As a billionaire, I'm not really worried about scratches. I'm just worried about getting this thing off the trailer so we can use it for today. There we go. And then, heck, maybe we'll just donate this kid's here to some five-year-old kid riding his bike. He can have some fun in a toy with a gosh dang giant blade on the front. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's start cutting down all these trees. I want to cut them as low as possible because I plan on just grading over the stump pretty much. There we go. Make sure that one doesn't come down on top of us. You go. She go. Okay, so here's what I got so far. You got this. We'll eventually have like a little trail coming in here. And then I'm going to raise this ground so much. And this will be like a pretty level platform. And actually, I didn't even think about this, but there's a pond right here that will actually work pretty good. Because this will be, it'll be pretty high up right here. And then you'll have this backdrop where you'll look over it and we'll have this giant cabin. But the only thing is, I may need more space, we'll see. And my gosh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to use Landscape Tool with all these stumps.
Holy crap. She's done, guys. This took me forever to build. It took me absolutely forever. Not because it's anything complex and it's like crazy beautiful or anything like that. She's looking decent. But because of this. I was trying to make it off here. Have a backdrop like a cliff. But you can't do that. For some reason, the houses wouldn't see. Maybe I put some of that in the time lapse. Maybe I didn't. But this probably took, took like three hours to build just because of this issue back here. I had this beautiful pond here. I was going to put just right now off to the house where you could just jump in. But no, you cannot place anything up there. But anyways, so far she's looking good. But you know what would look better? is Lambaganas. And then we have the dog. Let me give you guys a tour. I haven't named the dog. So if you got any ideas for the dog, I did not mean pull out a chainsaw and dog. But if you have any ideas... Feel free to drop some names. Check her out. Now, I guess it's not crazy nice mansion, but the terrain we're on is like insane. So it would be pretty expensive to build something up here. Eventually, I want to build like a shed or something crazy nice down here. That'd be cool. I'm not messing it with up there anymore. But but check this out. Check this out. It's pretty cool. It's more like a redneck mansion, I'd say. It's a beautiful cabin. Absolutely beautiful. I call it a mansion, but I don't know. Look at this. Through here, I got my coffee, got my tea, got my toaster, got the radio. Listen to some 97.3, if you know what I mean. Checking with Doug. Got a wooden stove. This is absolutely just beautiful. Here, got my office, got my Apex Gaming PC down here. Hey, in case you need an Apex Gaming PC, check out Apex Game. In case you need a PC, check out Apex Game PCs. You can use, use code SQUAD for 10% off. That's where I got this puppy. Got my mouse, got my gun safe. She's a beaut, Clark. She's a beaut. This is absolutely a beautiful cabin. I shouldn't tell you guys this now, but I'm thinking for my 90s series. If you guys know, I'm doing 80s farming. But for my 90s series, rebuilding the farm just a little bit. Changing a couple things up, a couple sheds. And tearing down the house and putting this house up. Even though it's kind of a cabin kind of giant gigantic cabin and then we got the garage over here which just i i love this someday i'd honestly love to have a house like this this is absolutely just i, lo I love like log houses <laughs> it's pretty loud sorry about that garage door's pretty loud but got the classic gar garage door or classic garage got the weed eater got the chainsaw everything in here now the question is can we make it up here i'm gonna bring also i'm gonna add a razor to that trailer back there Bring all the toys up here. The Lamborghinis, the Bugattis, even though the only way to... Yeah, we're going to bring them all up here. Can I fit the Razor? I think I think I should be able to fit the Razor on the back here. I went all black. Razor, two-seater. We got a lot of different things coming that I have ideas in the back of my head for this place. Oh, dude, if you literally look up at the top of that mountain, see how it looks so weird off the edge? I wish I could point. I'm pointing with my finger, but you can't see my finger. But it looks so... Anyways, that is what I built off the edge. My gosh, that looks gigantic up there. And dude, if we put our house up there, you may have been able to see our house also. Next thing we need, gosh dang, American flag. I need to put a flag up there. She fits, boys. Oh, just barely. She's going to work. Okay, now we got to see. Can the F-350, gosh dang, tremor pull this up here? We're definitely overloaded for the tremor. Because the tremor, what it has, it has saw Here, I'll, I'll start driving. But the Tremor has softer suspension, which makes it really good for off-roading. But it makes it a little worse for like pulling and hauling and towing. They're rated a little less than like a normal Super Duty, unfortunately. So far she's pulling good. Do I have my tow mirrors out? We gotta have the, yep. Oh, there we go. Now they're out. Now we can see behind us. Check this out. You can see the suspension of the Razor. Like look how soft that suspension is. You can see the suspension bouncing on this thing. I need to hit a big ball. But you can kind of see it just moving like that. That's pretty neat. It's just absorbing those. Absolutely absorbing. We could get some insane trucks up here. Like absolutely insane trucks. Now that I'm thinking. I know of one that I was going to reach out to the guy. To see if I could get it. But we'll see. Okay, here we go. Here's where the pool begins. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, gosh. What's so ironic is we're taking like these fancy cars up here, but the only way, think about it, the only way to actually like drive them down is you'd probably have to hold them down unless, just unless, we cement, cement, cement this road to where it's like a nice cement road 
that's wider and that you can pretty much drive up and down and it's like crazy smooth. That's kind of my next plan. Come on, baby. Come on, the old power stroke. I'm going to be honest. We are really close to things getting super sketchy here. Took out, gosh, Jane Bush. Okay, here we go. The pass that I did not want to make. Oh, this is going to get a little rough. And we're, dude, we are overloaded like crazy. We got a lot of weight. Hopefully these boards hold up. Hold up. Okay, here we go. Don't look down. This is what we got. Here. Let me just... Just in case we die or something, I can jump out the window. There we go. Come on, baby. Oh, gosh, dude. Oh, gosh. It's... Hey. Okay. There we go. Don't tip on me. What if we drop the Bugatti, dude? That's like two mil right there. If we literally drop that Bugatti and it just tips over, that's two mil. Oh, come on. Oh, shoot. Okay, hold on. Just save the gosh dang game. Come on, old girl. We're dragging this in now. We made it. We made it. Dude, this is so stupid. The Bugatti and the Lambo at the top are just wobbling back and forth on this trailer. Oh, my. Oh, gosh. You saw that back trailer slide off. Holy crap. And I would say we have made it. Now, all we got to do. Oh, gosh. Can we see? It's just unload these cars up here. We're good to go. Eventually, I'd love to just pave this whole road going up and down there. Oh, come on. Come on, Power Stroke. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. We almost hit the dog. We made it. We made it to the compound, to the mansion. Back the razor off. Oh, gosh. Don't worry over the dog. Oh, Mm. We ran him over. Actually, we'll put we'll put like the Lambo or something in the garage. For now, Razor goes right here. Oh, by the way, this isn't grass. This is artificial grass. This is asphalt or not asphalt. I think it's called. It's artificial artificial turf. I think there's a word for it though. Artificial turf down here, just because grass isn't gonna grow, and I want some type of grass for the dog. Let's put artificial turf down here. Lambo going in the garage Check it out got the Bugatti Lamborghini convertible which we got to put the convertible up and another Lamborghini back here now right now We legit don't have enough storage to store our Lamborghinis and Bugattis So I think next episode I'm gonna literally I, I think I'm gonna build like a giant shed or shop somewhere down there like something crazy I wish I could build it up there. That'd be so cool like back there, but I just can't. So hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button. If you got any ideas or any more things you want me to do, well, put it in the comment section. So I will see you guys later. And hey, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Seriously, guys. Thanks. Oh, by the way, just saying, like, even if I act like spoiled or bratty or whatever, just know that's just part of this series, guys. Just want to get that through. So, so thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later.